hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can build color coded calendars into sharepoint modern lists so people who have been working into sharepoint they know that uh, in classic sharepoint we can create the calendar overlays which is to have the color coded events based on the category or based on any event type but how we are going to build that same thing into sharepoint modern calendar list or normal list so that's we are going to take a look today so we can create color coded calendars using simple rules into any sharepoint modern list so that's i am going to walk you through so over here i have created one theme calendar this shows my team leaves based on the leave types it has a color assigned to those items and if i click on this then it will open the leave page and which is nothing but a sharepoint form which is allowed to can be edited can left out a comment so this color coded calendar we are going to build out so i'll start by creating one simple list i'll just go to my home page of my site and i can simply add a list this list you can add from anywhere you can click on gear icon and add a list from there as well so i'll start with blank list and i will say as leave calendar And I'll create this one. So this is a normal blank list and having just one column. So we'll start by creating multiple columns so that we can assign those columns and can use them in our calendar. So now you can see we have a new look and feel of our SharePoint list where we can directly view all the views in this tab. And we have this plus button where we can directly create new views. And in new ways, we have type of list, calendar, gallery, that board, and visibility settings. So this we are going to leverage. I'm just right now canceling it. And we'll start by creating columns. So I'll just create a few columns which are required. Let's say start date. I'll just pick that column as type of date time. I'll include, if you wish to include time, you can include time. If it's a calendar, it's an event specific calendar. Otherwise, uh, leave specific, then you can just have simple dates. I'll just add this one and I'll just add one more as of date or time, and that is and date. I'll include time, and now I'll add my leave type, which should be choice type, and I'll just click on this leave type. And provide my choices so it's annual leave sick leave work from home and i can specify let's say some emergency leave All right so i created this choice column and now we will start creating one view I'll click on this add a view button and we will start creating a calendar view. So as soon as I click on calendar, I have this default layout as month, week and work week. So in this one, as we want to show this theme calendar or leave calendar in a month view form, then we'll be selecting month and in start date, I'll be choosing the start date as start date of leave and end date of calendar should be end date. And I'll mark this as public so that it can be viewed by my entire team. And the title on the calendar or the event should be shown as a title. And we have to, of course, provide a name. So I'll just say team calendar. And I will create it. So as soon as it's created, you can see if I close this right panel, you can see I have this monthly view of my calendar. And now we will start adding one or two, three items so that we can see how these are being shown. So I'll just add this, let's say leave for Christian and I will even mark that as annual leave for Christian and I can specify the date. The start date is 27th and date, let's say I'll just say 29th and I'll save it. I haven't picked any leave type so I'll just again click this modify. I have to pick the leave type so that we can use that leave type while doing a calendar code. So I'll just specify save and 
I'll create a couple of more. Let's say fig leaf, and I'll pick this fig leaf for two days. I'll say sixth of June, and leaf type is fig leaf, and I'll create couple of more for work from home. I'll specify the date and pick the leave type as work from home and save. So now I have these few items created but all are coded with just one single color. Now the actual rules get started. So I need to modify, click on this my view item and I need to format this current view. So I'll click on this one, it will open up format pane for me where I can specify this formatting would be applied to what so right now I just want to apply it for month I can click on manage rules so right now we have this one single rule which says the show all values irrespective of anything as with this color so I'll just get rid of this rule and create a new rule so in this rule I'll pick the pick the column leave type but right now leave type is not listed over here and this is because we haven't have this leave type into our this view so what you have to do you have to click on this add or remove field and over here just select this leave type for this view and now we are going to format the view again we'll just go to month view to remove this rule add our rule now i will see my leave type into my drop down column so now if leave type equal to my annual leave, I should be my item or event should be displayed with this background. So you can click this blue button and to differentiate further, I can actually pick one green, let's say. So my this leave type of annual should be displayed as green. I can save this rule and add one more rule. I can go back you see i have this rule with this condition added now again i'll do one more condition for my if my leave type is of sick leave then i'll show that into red and i'll save it and again i'll create one more condition for wfh type and leave type is work from home then my this item should be shown as an let's say with purple color and i'll just say save so as soon as the rules are created based on the leave type or category let's say like if you are building a team event calendar then you can specify that so right now we have this calendar created where we have uh, color coded events based on the type of leave so that's how you can create and if you are building a leave calendar or any event calendar which should be permission driven then for that as soon as this item are being added you have to create one power automate using this power automate options so that it can break the permission and assign the read only permission to the entire members of this site and just contribute permission to your item so that you can do that that is a part of permission management you can watch my other video for uh, how to manage the item level permission using power automate to very well handle this so today's intent was just to showcase how you can create the color coded calendars easily just in the same fashion where we used to have calendar overlays in classic sharepoint now that is available into our this new modern list as well so that is it for today's video if you have any question please do drop your comments i'll try to answer thank you